Hello and welcome to another reading from the book That I May Know Him, a daily devotional. Today's reading is entitled, Will You Let Him In? February 19th. The Lord hath appeared of old unto me, saying, Yea, I have loved thee with an everlasting love, therefore with loving kindness have I drawn thee. Jeremiah 31 3. Today's reading is an excerpt from a personal letter of appeal written by the author. The work dearest to the heart of Christ is that of drawing souls to him. Look to Jesus, the majesty of heaven. What do you behold in his life history? His divinity clothed with humanity, a whole life of continual humility, the doing of one act of condescension after another, a line of continual descent from the heavenly courts to a world all seared and marred with the curse, and in a world unworthy of his presence, descending lower and still lower, taking the form of a servant to be despised and rejected of men, obliged to flee from place to place to save his life, and at last betrayed, rejected, crucified. Then, as sinners for whom Jesus suffered more than the power of mortal can portray, shall we refuse to humble our proud will? Study day and night the character of Christ. It was his tender compassion, his inexpressible, unparalleled love for your soul, that led him to endure all the shame, the revilings, the abuse, the misapprehensions of earth. Approach nearer him, behold his hands and his feet, bruised and wounded for our transgressions. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. Lose no time, let not another day pass into eternity, but just as you are, whatever your weakness, your unworthiness, your neglect, delay not to come now. The call of Jesus to come to him, the presentation of a crown of glory that fadeth not away, the life, the eternal life that measures with the life of God, has not been of sufficient inducement to lead you to serve him with your undivided affections. Be no longer on Satan's side of the question. Make decided, radical changes through the grace given you of God. No longer insult his grace. He is saying with tears, Ye will not come to me that ye might have life. John 5, 40 Now Jesus is inviting you knocking at the door of your heart for entrance. Will you let him come in? Thank you for listening today. Be sure to join me tomorrow for another reading from the book that I may know him. Be encouraged.